recording of my squids. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I fell asleep with makeup on. I don't know what happened. I was like on my bed, ready to go. I started, I pulled up my YouTube and I started watching it and I was just gonna end my video and then I fell asleep. <clears throat> I guess I was really tired. Whoops, it happens. It happens and look that bad. And if it did, oh well. Don't be judgmental, people. Okay, it is way in. It's official way in. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I sound like a man when I wake up. So, um, I wanted to stick to weighing myself at the same time at the same location, so I just left my scale where it was. Um, I heard that the best time to weigh yourself is like as soon as you wake up in the morning. I don't know if that's a myth, if it's true. I haven't done enough research. I don't know, you guys tell me if there should be anything else that I'm doing different, so. Here it goes. Oh my God, I, you know what? This whole week I wasn't nervous, not even last night, and then all of a sudden I'm feeling like a little bit like I can't breathe, uh, but okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna show you guys again the scale, and then you gotta tap it a bit so they can be ready. And then, here comes the part where I step on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's look. Oops. I am 344.6 people. What happened? It disappeared and I wanted to take a picture, damn it. Okay. 344 pounds. That's, <laughs> it's too early to do math. It's five pounds less than last week. So I also hear that, uh, I'm gonna take a seat. On the first week you, you, you kinda, if you just even change your eating habits just a little bit, you tend to lose a lot. Um, but that's still something to be proud of. You know, like I'm still, like I'm almost out of my 340s. That's amazing. Um, I hear a lot of stuff, right? I just kind of noticed I said that too. I hear a lot of myths. I don't know. Am I even doing this correctly? I, yeah, I have a lot of voices in my head. Um, no, that's pretty cool. Um, so that, for me, officially, well, not officially, initially, that's the word, two words that I'm identifying. Initially, that's, that's 20 pounds. Yeah, that's awesome. But five pounds since my weigh in, which is still awesome. Um, so those are my results. First week was not bad at all. And here's the reason why is because I already started making changes from before. So if you started on your first week and you made way too many changes to the point where it's causing you to kind of give in, um, just try to adjust to what works for you. Everyone is different. You know, you will get there eventually. If you did, if you overdid your exercise, if you overdid your your uh, food choices and everything, maybe try to cut back on that part. Maybe don't overdo it and just you know your body and you know your willpower. And you know, I know that people say everyone has the willpower to do it, but everyone is also different, and you need to understand that. So it's okay if you, you know. Don't, if you can't help yourself and not limit yourself with something, don't do it. Just reduce it for now. Eventually, you will have to make the choice to just, okay, I cannot no longer baby steps, right? Um, but I'm telling you from experience that that's what I used to do. And I just, I would hate it. I hated it. And now I feel like I'm not hating it. I'm not because it's been such a slow progress, but it's been a progress. And I think that that's more important than no progress. And I know it's been said over and over again, but it is so true. It's so true that, you know, a progress is better than no progress because, you know, I used to have a ton of progress, but I would just give up constantly. I would just hate it. And then as soon as my stress levels, you know, would go up, it would be the worst. I would have nothing to go on because I gave up everything. So then I'm stressed out because I'm limiting myself. I'm stressed out because of life and school and work and parenting. And then I would just be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? 
But now I'm like, okay, I can handle this because I've been doing little baby steps and that's my advice to you. Um, I would suggest still, still, you need to see a doctor. I have, you know, depending on you know how much exercise you can do. If you're in a super critical condition, this that I'm advising might not be the best option for you. But um, if you're not, just consider it, consider it. Take advice from your doctor, take advice from people you know, take advice from people who've done it, uh, you know, read books, do your own research, and then make the best decision that you feel is for you. drying but I think I'm gonna let my face breathe because you see these two horns that are not on my head but on my chin instead that I've been dealing with all week I think they need to just breathe for a second and not be covered in makeup but we'll see you know if I feel like getting ready I might just do it I'm trying to um, get ready to go pick up my child mr. CJ so this morning I um, was on a conference call because I'm trying to put an organization for school. You know, I'm 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 pretty involved, and um, it took a little bit longer than I expected to. So when I had breakfast, I got on the call right after, and then I immediately um, had lunch right after because it was like 1:30. And I had two tacos, um, similar to what Mr. CJ had yesterday in yesterday's video, which for you would be today? I don't know. Who knows? I'm not good with that. Um, but it was in yesterday's vlog, and I am so stuffed. I... Um, yeah, I guess because I ha I haven't been really been eating red meat that it's been... I need to put on my sweater. I need to put on my sweater, guys. Let me put you on. Hold on a second. Okay, so I'm going to put my sweater on. And I couldn't do it. I was holding the camera, if you know what I mean. So, um, what was I saying? Um, I ate. Okay, so I'm really stuffed. Uh, something about not eating red meat, right? Um, yeah, so, uh, so I was really hungry, <laughs> and, uh, so I went right to eating, and, um, I got really full with two tacos, so, I guess that's good. Um, and then I just kind of had some time, I needed some time to think about some stuff. I got a phone call in the morning. Um, I really don't want to say from where I got it from, but it was pretty annoying, mm -hmm. Some of the stuff that they were that I was being told, and it's not um, um, I guess it is a little bit of drama, but I just hate being involved in things that I really shouldn't be involved in. So I really just had to think about stuff, and you know, I'm not gonna see that certain individual for a few days, and just it was just really annoying, you know, because I, I'm the kind of person that. If something, you know, is bothering me, I either keep it to myself to analyze or I will try. I'm getting better at trying to discuss it with someone and just, or just, you know, kind of just settling it and moving forward. So I'm kind of annoyed that certain comments were made about me and it's just annoying. I'm, I was just annoyed and I'm, you know, so after that I just needed some time to think and now I got to go pick up my child. You know, I, he's going to take the bus back home. So... Um, that's, that's the situation. 
yeah, I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. Even though at first I was like, oh my gosh, I really feel like slapping this person. And then I'm like, that's probably not something I should do. And I didn't get as angry as I thought I would. Um, I'm just more annoyed at anything. And a lot of things don't get me angry, but when someone attacks my integrity, uh, you know, call it pride, probably it is. Um, but I just kind of had to remind myself, like, I know the truth and they can say whatever they want. They can make all kinds of lies. It doesn't matter. I know exactly the truth. If people want to investigate, then go ahead because you're not going to find anything. So, uh, I just had to think about that and kind of hit myself and I'm like, okay, it happened, whatever. If I see this person, I'm still going to be nice to them and, um, yeah. I just don't really want to say who it is or what or anything because it really has nothing pertinent to do with anything. And I, quite frankly, don't really want it to define my day today. Because I, I, was, I woke up in such a good mood. And I'm still in a good mood, just a little annoyed. But the less I think about it, the less annoyed I am. What do you want? Give me a second. One or two. Spicy or regular? I'm ready. You want what? I want the tuna. I can't hear you. I want the tuna chicken. Can I get two spicy uh, McChickens? that moment that you go check your mailbox and your W24 is here. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You are so excited. I am so excited. I am so excited. And the rest of the night I just spent doing my income tax and they were pretty lengthy because I paid for an additional service. I did it myself just to make sure you know that I got all my bases covered. So I'm going to call it a night. Mr. CJ's already headed to bed. So I'm going to end the vlog here and I will see my home base quiz next time. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo. And don't forget to subscribe.